Hello everyone, Beautiful Yoshi 5 here, and we're back with more Super Mario Galaxy 2. Okay, so Clockwork Ruins is done, and, ooh, Throwback Galaxy. Yeah, these screen starts are pretty simple, to say the least. Alright, mm. Yes, a game of these stupid couch cushions are so flat, I'm like, sitting right on this on this one part right here. It's really, yeah. uh, that's not you guys' problems, so I won't talk about it too much. Sure. There, let me scoot back. Oop, yeah, that's a bit better. Man, they sure kind of go overboard on the star bits in this stage, don't they? I mean, this place is just crawling with star bits. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, so the first green star should be pretty simple, if I remember correctly. It's just right up here. Hey, there. It's underneath this one, right, where the question mark block is, or is it the next one over? Only one way to find out. Oh, good, it is this one. There, see, that was easy. Yeah. Nah. Okie doke. Throw that galaxy. Almost done. What am I talking about? Almost done. We're 30. Oops. Sorry, but my head's up there. We're like 33% of the way done. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Green star numero two. Okay, now let's actually pay attention here and then we can see it. Yep, I can see one at top, but I think that's number three. I think number two is behind the building, or... I think it's, like, over there or something. Actually, I'm always able to see it, and that little intro, but I wasn't really paying attention. Again, yes, I know. Oh, I'm plant. Around. Oh wait, I think... Never mind. Never mind. I'm being stupid. I know where the third one is. The second one is actually on top of the fortress. The one we saw in the intro. I remember where the third one is. It's actually in a different mission for this galaxy. Alright, so... Let's see. I wonder if I can... Oh yeah! That works. Come on, Thwomp. Hit me with your best shot. Yeah, not very good. Oh, come on. Alright. Yeah, I definitely have to make you. Come on, Thwomp. Come on, Thwomp. Don't go all the way over there and shoot. Ah, oh, darn it. Dude. Just in case this guy has to, like, kill me a better. Okay. Come on, man. You're smarter than that. I know you can do it. Come on. This isn't too difficult for you now. Okay, there you go. Now let's see if I can just get a side star salt and do it this way. Nope, not quite. Oh, dude, not cool! So I wonder if we could just wall jump up your face. And, yeah! Good thing I got that checkpoint after all. <laughs> uh, awesome sauce. Okay. You know, I wonder, can you just get a, do a triple jump on this? Oh, no, not quite. Okay, let's just wait for this guy again. And... Oh, it's not cool. Dude, I was so close. Not close enough. Man, shoot, how are you supposed to do this? There must be like a cloud flower down there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. No, the cloud flower's in the other mission. Shoot. Alright, let's try this even then. I need to just manipulate this swamp a bit more. Okay. Okay, it's fine. That wasn't... Uh, I'm not sure why I had so much trouble with that. Okay, so anyway, so there's that green star. Okay, just we need one more and throw back galaxy. <laughs> there we are. And... 
Rain Star and number three. Here we come. <laughs> yep, as, as, I, as I said earlier, Steph is in the... Uh, three green stars in this, um... Can you see it right there? No, not quite. It's in this third mission. It's actually pretty simple. I mean, it's definitely in a place where you'd think they would put it. But, the only problem in this, in this mission is probably the camera, which we'll see in a second. Okay, now if we jump over here, long jump to save a little bit of time, yes, yes. Okay, that, okay, I'll go for that. And, yeah, I see the key. Okay, if I remember correctly, um, and what am I like going to first person? Okay, so if you long jump and long jump again. Oh, ah. okay, I jumped right to it. So just use your three clouds to get over here, and yeah, green star should be that easy to get. Okay, so throwback galaxy is now done. Now we can. Mo Ugh, battle belt. Uh, probably the most boring <laughs> galaxy in the entire game by far. Yeah, sorry, Nintendo. I love you, but why did you have to put this galaxy in the game? I mean, I understand what you wanted to put in the Never version of Gobblegut. I understand that, but... Really, what was the point of this galaxy? I'm sorry. I really shouldn't complain. But even the green stars for this place are so unimaginative. It's a little embarrassing, but... That's... Okay. You... Ah... I can't pretend you didn't see that. That was pathetic. Man. Okay. And there you go. Hmm. Okay, well, since I obviously can't find anything really interesting to talk about in my personal life, I guess we can talk about video games for a, for a while. I mean, I guess this is a video game channel after all. Uh. Okay. Uh, let's see. What games? Like I said before, um, I really tried to, um, you know, I, the last games I played were new games, like, well, new for me were Okami and, uh, um, oh, yeah, why am I spacing out on this? I, oh, is this, oh, yeah, Psychonauts, that was the other one that I, oh, Fireball was hit him. Yeah, Psychonauts, yeah, those were the last two game, new games for me that I played. You know, I haven't really had a chance to play through those again after I beat them for the first time. It was sort of a shame. But, um, I was actually thinking about picking up, um, Ghost Detective. Because, um, no, uh, what's the, what's the full name of that? Um, shoot, it, it's, it's by the same guys who made the Phoenix. Oh, here's me, sorry, here's right on top of the, um, little casing for the pipe. Gravity for this place is kind of weird, but with the like weirdly shaped planet. But don't make me look up that title. It's Ghost Detective something. Hmm. Okay, guys. So we got the first thing to about the galaxy, and prepare to get some deja vu because that's basically the location where all the stars are. Here's all of them are on top of those um. A little key scene for where the key um, opens up. So anyway, like I was saying, Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, that's what it is. Those were it was made created by the same people who made the Ace Attorney series, and you guys all know how much I love that. Those games. So I'm really interested in picking that up. Um if I uh, can gather the money. Which yeah, I have the money to buy it. It's just, you know, I'm kinda cheap. Like I hit that, that guy again? Jeez. Mamma mia. Okay. Okay, one second. Sorry. Let me check something real quick. Okay, that works. Ugh. Mamma mia. Again. Okay, in case you guys forgot and I didn't explain it last time, you just need to take care of the enemies and move on to this place. 
This wouldn't be so painful if I wasn't stinking so bad. Okay, um... Fire flower, fire flower, where did you... Uh, na 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 na. Okay, so like I said, that looks like a really fun game. Um... No. And uh, what else was there that I was thinking about? Oh yeah, the new DS version of Kingdom Hearts, which I never played the uh, 358 over two days or whatever it was. So I never played that DS game, the first um, DS um, version of Kingdom Hearts. But I'm kind of thinking about getting this new one because you know I, I do like Kingdom Hearts. It's just. I mean, no, I just. <clears throat> I really. <laughs> if I ever do um, um a Kingdom Hearts 2 LP, I'll probably explain why I'm kind of turned off by the by the um 3D the first 3D um the first D <laughs> the first DS um Kingdom Hearts is every time I I always. Because, there's, I don't remember where it came up on YouTube. I think, I'm not sure why I was even talking about it, but somewhere, um, someone was, um, oh yeah, now I remember. This is kind of really on top of it, but I don't have anything else to talk about, so I'll go for it. Um, in uh, one of Bash's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 9's videos, he mentioned Kingdom Hearts, and someone was talking about, and, um, I think I made some comment on, um, he says he was talking about Kingdom Hearts 2, and I made some comment like, um, that game really disappointed me, and someone, someone asked me why they were kind of being fanboyish, but I kind of just, you know, responded to their question, but, asked me why I, I, you know, kind of insulted me about it, but I, asked me why I didn't like Kingdom Hearts 2. First of which was the difficulty, which, you know, doesn't really bug me that much, but, okay. The second reason is is that I kind of felt like the, a lot of the story was just for filler and just kind of sequel baiting for that particular game, so that's why I always didn't. I kind of, that's why the first DS yeah, version of Kingdom Hearts always had sort of a bad taste in my mouth. But that's neither here nor there. We finally got the second main star of this galaxy. Okay, so now we'll just go get the last main star battle belt. Unfortunately, it's at the end of the galaxy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, moving on. Get this green star. So yeah, that's really all I have to say. I don't really want to go into too much detail, because, you know, it's just obvious if I really want to talk about this, I probably should just say that for the Kingdom Hearts videos that I'm making. But uh, you know. Yeah, so it seems like whenever I talk to Ke talk about Kingdom Hearts or someone, it always comes up. Cause I seems seem like I'm the only person who really thinks that. Cause fine, uh, not to spoil anything, but there's a certain character in Kingdom Hearts 2, which is part of the story, yes. But he had a really, but his part of the game is really drawn out, and it didn't really need to be drawn out. And I and I just feel and it's explained why it's so drawn out in the DS version of Kingdom Hearts. And I just felt like oh that's sequel baiting. And I I really hate it when companies do that. And I thought it was especially bad in this case because it's on different platforms. It's like well not only do you have to buy the um, not only do you are we trying to get you to buy our game, but then you also have to you know buy a DS. And I don't think that's really fair to PS2 people who didn't have. Um, to the PS2 people who didn't have a DS. Also, kind of why, um... Didn't really think it was really fair to put the second Kingdom Hearts game... I mean, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories on the GBA at first, but then they put it on the PS2, too. Which is, like, kind of weird. There's definitely some technical... Technical, um, difference between the PS2 and the G Game Boy Advance. But, you know, it, it worked in the out in the end. Not that Chain of Memories was a very good game at all, in my personal opinion. That's, I think, a lot of people can agree on. I mean, old card system things and all that good. 
But why am I talking about Kingdom Hearts? This is Super Mario Galaxy 2. <laughs> and last thing, this this uh last thing I need is to get um bothered by more uh, Kingdom Hearts fanboys. I don't understand. Which would be really strange if I did, because I'm doing Kingdom Hearts Let's Play. I mean, obviously, I like the series, I'm not sure why everyone that feels the need to bug me about about why um why they think that Kingdom Hearts is such a great series and I'm doing it justice. I mean, yeah, I really do like the series. It's just that there's some parts that that just kind of bugs me. I'm not sure why I'm just talking about that. Mm. Okay, so we already got that green star. We got these moles now. Oh, good. Two for price of one. Except that my spin wouldn't come back to me until too late. Oh well. Uh, I'm sorry, just... I'm not sure why I'm in bed with all of a sudden. Probably because it's probably with this galaxy. I mean, really, if you think about it, they really force you to do this mission five times. <laughs> if you count in the green stars, and then the regular mission, and then the mission where you do this without taking damage. I mean, come on, Nintendo. You're, you're better than that, guys. And... <sighs> I know, this is a complain heavy episode, isn't it? But... Man! Oh, okay, I'll talk about it after I get this green star. Here, one sec. Okay, so Battle Belt is now done, and... Oops, we still have these galaxies to go to. Alright, Flash Black Galaxy. Thankfully, there's only two green stars here. Anyway, what I was saying before, uh, yeah, um, I was actually, I'm not sure if what, what you guys think, but I was actually really bothered with sup uh, the Super Mario Anniversary, Anniversary Collection, um, I think Bayless's video on that guy with the glasses.com, what he said about it, I think that really hits nail on the head. They, just, I mean... Uh, for those of you who don't know, Super Mario uh, Super Mario Anniversary Collection is 24th anniversary of um, the Mario franchise as a whole. You know, since Super Mario Brothers, uh, the first one came out, and they basically just re-released um, Super Mario All Stars um, on the Wii, which was originally an SNES game, and. Yeah, I mean, I really, that was really lazy on Nintendo's part, and really just a way to get um, more money, which really bugged the heck out of me, because I know Nintendo's a business, I understand they're trying to make money, but I think they really could have done a little bit better job with that. I mean, porting an SNES game to the Wii, I mean, I know the Wii did that, the isn't the most technically advanced console out there, but come on, guys, really. And... Oh, whoops. My bad. So anyway, that kind of hurt me. Come on, Yoshi, you can get up there. If you don't get stuck on that ledge... Okay, there. Or not. Okay, don't spin, don't spin. Okay. What the devil? Oh, okay, good. Okay, Yoshi, let's do this. And poor Yoshi landed on a mine right at the last second. Uh, I feel kind of bad about that. Okay, one more green star and flashback. And and again, also like what Thalo said in his video. I mean. After Super Mario All-Stars came out, which was a really great collection, I mean, they had um, the first three Super Mario Brothers, and then they also had um, the Japanese version of Super Mario Brothers 2, because, you know, the U.S. version was just, uh, sort of, so it was sort of just a palace swap with um, Doki Doki Panic, which 
you know, okay. I don't want to do the entire history of Super Mario right now, so let's just leave it at that. There was four NES, four NES games on that on that SNES collection, which was really cool at the time, but, you know, Nintendo really could have done a better job. Could have done a much better job for the anniversary collection of Super Mario Brothers. And again, like I said, like Bayless said in, in his video, they did... Whoa, whoa, whoa. They did a different version of, um... Shoot, I can always screw that up. Okay, what am I trying to say? Sorry, I keep getting distracted by all this stuff going on right now. Shoot. Uh, they basically released two versions of Super Mario All-Stars. I mean, the first the first version of it, um, you know, which had those four games. And then they released a second version a year later, which also had Super Mario World, which was an SNES game. So they were able to put four NES games and a Super Mario and, um, and this SNES game on one SNES cartridge, which was really amazing. And then, you know, they go and um, do the less qualified version of the game on a Wii, on a Wii disc, it just was really lazy. And, this, this, I think the, also another part that bugs me about it is that how Nintendo Power defended it. They said, well, yeah, this, 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 this cartridge already came out, but they also talked about how, well, but these are such great games, and, well, yeah, but, you know, at this at this point in time, we really do expect more out of game companies than what they could they could have released, you know, all those years ago. There's no one denying that Super Mario Brothers was a great game, but if you release a game just like that in this day and age and sold it today at those at that price, you no matter how great the game is, you just can't you just can't do it for that price. It's, I don't know. But that's enough of me complaining. We're almost at the green star for this galaxy. If you adjust your camera, it should be right here. Oops, and... Come on, grab it. There we are. Perfecto Mundo. Okay, Flash Black is now done. 